Uh, Yvette Isis, come Yvette. This woman helped pioneer Arabic Christian television all over the world. I mean, if, if you want to say, if you go anywhere in the Middle East, this woman is very well known along the Isaiah 19 highway. I mean, you may have heard me say this before. She called me one day and she goes, oh, I'm going to Aleppo in Syria. I said, didn't they just bomb Aleppo? And she said, well, yes, but the Christians need strengthening. I'm like, oh, Jesus, you keep me on my, on my prayer bones praying for this lady so much. She takes massive relief into the refugee camps, you know, uh, in Jordan. Uh, she's pioneering a new TV show now. You know, as if she didn't have enough to do. She just came back from London, England. What was the name of the meeting there? Uh, Religious Freedom Conference. Yeah. Yeah, you can see. There was a, a great movement in the ministerial in London. And you can see the move of God and how Christians are taking the leads. And you can see the Spirit of the Lord, it's all over the ministerial. And you can feel like the Holy Spirit is moving people and speaking through people. Even the people who are Muslims or Hindus, they will come, what about you guys? Why are you speaking like this? How do you have the power? And we start to say, where's the power coming from? And her daughter, Jacqueline, is a lawyer. She, her daughter has spoken to the United Nations, spoken to uh, Parliament. I prophesied these things over years ago and it just sounded like the moon. Okay, you just said, I'm going to the moon, Cindy. <laughs> yeah, but she has done it. So we wanna honor her and her family. So this award says, Aww. Dr. Yvette Isaacs, in grateful acknowledgement, of your service to the body of Christ through your pioneering work in Christian Arabic television, Deborah's United and the little, the little world. It's, it's supposed to be here. He's got it in his hands, you know. Thank you. And the Lord would say, daughter, I am taking you into a new season and it's a season of honor. For there are many things that you have done, but you have not always been honored for these things you have done. But the Lord says, you're going to see even places where there has been dishonor that you're going to receive honor. And the Lord says, I'm going to restore some things in your life that you thought, Lord, I don't know how you'd ever do that. And God says, you're gonna see what I will do, even on a personal level. I see God has gifts for you, Yvette. I see for your house, uh, remodeling. I see funds coming in. And I, see, I just feel like every time you get money, you give it away. But the Lord says, there's things you need to do for yourself. And I want you to keep the next funds that come. And people say, just I want to bless you. And, and uh, you use it for some of those needs. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. Surprise. Yes, thank you. Her ministry name is Roads of Success. If you would like to, to help, um, thank you, help uh, uh, fund her. Uh, she's just an amazing gal. And, you know, I just pallets and pallets of relief that she has taken in. And we need to honor those who labor among us. Amen.